Hey everyone, this is my second video on the programming language Pascal and in this video I will be dealing with variables. Now what is a variable? A variable is a symbol whose value has to be declared and that may change within the scope of a given problem or set of operations. This just means that a variable is a symbol whose value the user determines. So it just says that, okay, we'll be using this to represent that. Simple as that. So now we begin, we start. First name of program, program, we name it, then we use our semicolon, and we need to say, okay, we will be using variables. V A R. Now, it is okay to put it in all caps and you could put it in lowercase. It is okay. It will always give you the exact same output. Now we need to say what we will be using as our variable as our variables. I will be using A. You can use any random letter, any symbol, any number, but it is recommended that you use something that you will that you can easily remember so you won't become confused. So we first say A is an integer. What this means is that okay when I'm using A in the program A is just representing an integer and an integer is a whole number. So we need to now um, we need to now use another and say A is no sorry B is an integer. Now I've seen a lot of people doing this, but this is not needed. This is not necessary. You do not need to put this in a whole other line. What you can do because they are same they are the same they are of the same type of variable, you can just separate them by a comma, you can just put B there, and you can just delete that there. So you now have A and B are integers. Now you begin. Now we need to begin. Um, we now say, okay, now that we've got, we've gotten what type of integer, no, sorry, what type of variable we'll be using, they will be integers, we need to say, what will these integers be? So we need to now put a colon equal, and we can use any number once it's a whole number, three. Now, what this really means is that A is just is. A is equal to 3. So the equal represents equal to, and the colon represents is. So it says A is equal to 3. And now we need to say what B will be equal to. B is equal to. Seven. Now that we've done that, we can use our output to print what we have. In my last video, I dealt with the right and the right ln, and we will be using the right. We type right, open bracket, a plus b, close bracket, and we end. Now, in my last video, I also said that we needed to use our uplifted commas to actually print something but in this case you do not need that because we are not printing what is inside of the uplifted commas we actually we actually want to get what what is inside the uplifted commas what it actually represents so what we do here is remove the uplifted commas but I will show you an example what happens so compile and again you can see any error the program expected I forgot my O and compile and forgot my semicolon 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 and compile compile successful and run see it prints what is inside of the uplifted commas but I don't want that I don't want that at all I, what I want is what this plus this 
will give me. So instead of using the operator commas, I need to take that out, compile, and run. Now I get 10. Now you can use any two numbers in this as long as they are whole numbers. As long as they are whole numbers, it will work. Now let me show you an example. If I don't use a whole number, for say, um, let's say I use a point something a decimal, 3.5. I compile, see it has an error, it says source not assignment compatible with destination. What that means is that 3.5 is not an integer. The compiler does not recognize 3.5 as an integer. So it says, oh my gosh, what are you giving me here? I don't understand this. So integer does not understand the language that 3.5 is saying. So, what is needed to be done is that you can you have to change you have to change that so that you will get your right output. So what we can use now is the real numbers, which are fractions or decimals. In that case, what we can do is use 3.5 and 7, and now we can say okay. A, it, since A is 3.5 and it will be a real number, I can now say, okay, A will be real. That's what we use to represent real. We put our semicolon and we compile. Now we will get what we are looking for. Now we have 1.05. Now this is what the computer prints. This is just it's just to okay now that you look at it you might say oh my gosh what happened I don't understand this number but what the computer actually does or the compiler does that it puts the decimal point there when it's actually supposed to be back here right so what that actually means is that it is one 0 0.5 so the, com the, the compiler actually put the, put the decimal forward one place wrong so what is, what is ne where it's needed to be is there so it's not incorrect it's just that this is how the compiler represents its numbers now I will show you an example of the string I won't show you characters because characters and strings they are almost exactly alike. Just that strings are strings are words or groups of words. So what I can use here is a is going to be car. No, sorry, it is going to be string. And I also want b to be a string, so I just put my comma there. And I take that and I take that out. So now I have A and B will be a string. Begin A is equal to 3.5. Now that will not be understood. If you press compile, you'll see as you got just now, source not assignment compatible with destination. Because it the 3.5 cannot be a string. So so what we need to do is put something that we want to use or something that will be a string. What we can use now is equal to um hi no hello and what we can use for b is world. Now when we have that what it says is that okay well hello is a string and world is a string so as it was just not being used as an integer all it does is change to a string and recognizes it the same way. All we need to do is compile and unknown. Oh, sorry, sorry. We need to put these in brackets. I'm so sorry. Brackets there. Brackets there. Com yeah, no. My uplifted comma. Uplifted comma. Compile. Okay, compile. Successful. Now we need to run. Now you see hello world, it is connected because right there it says 
A plus B. Now, if we want to have a space in between that, what we need to do here is come there. We can either put it there, or we can put it here, in front of the world. Now we just press run, and we have hello world. Thanks for watching, and I will keep you up to date.